Right, myriad time. <laughs> Challenge. Yeah, myriad time. I was thinking, because we're, get, we're getting close. We're getting close to having a game that just needs tweaking to make it playable. And I was, because we, we, we think, because we're going to port it to the C16, the pet and the other ones. I actually thought if it's, is it worth us porting it to the BBC Micro? Is it worth it? Because if it's worth it, then we'll do it. If anybody's in, if you're interested in porting it to another machine, another non, a non Commodore based machine, then we'll do it. Because I was just wondering whether we should port it to the Beeb. Um, so let me know. Let me know because if if you do, if you if you think it's going to be an interesting stream to port it, because. If you think about it, it's only going to be the user interface and the user input that's going to change. All the rest of the code is the same. All the mechanics is the same. It's just the user user interface and the input that we'd have to mess around with. So, the Atari, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being a troublemaker? <laughs> um, I mean, the Atari, yeah. I mean, we'd have to. Hey, Doctor. Um, the Atari. I mean, the Atari. I've got. I've got some books up there that we can. I mean, we can certainly have a look, but I haven't. I've. I've not really gone into. I've got the. I've got the environment set up. But yeah, it'd be. I'll think. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Um, because I. I think. I think we. We. We should. We should. Definitely for the Beeb, the Atari would be an interesting one. Because we'd all have to start from. Uh, we'd all have to start from uh, scratch. Because. I don't know much about the Atari, and I bet you guys don't. Yeah, okay. Anyway, myriad. Just saying that so I know when to, when to cut off every, all the all the all the talking when it comes to vid, when it comes to video editing. Right, myriad. Um, last stream we managed. We've put in. We well, we rewrote the randomizer. <laughs> yes I'm going to have to recode that can't have my bot shouting out when Mrs. OSK is mentioned God, traitorous bot traitorous bot <laughs> God. anyway You laughing your head off? <laughs> Can you hear this, Doctor? I think you heard her on the mic. Right, Myriad. Let's try again. Myriad. So last time we we redid the randomization routine. And thanks to Nicom Nicomo for that, where we have now we've got a eight sixteen bit randomization routine that we're using the lower eight bits to to work all the random stuff. And the thing is, it didn't break the game because a lot of a lot of the game mechanics were based off that randomization routine. And now we've changed it. I was I was running it thinking that the game would break. Because it would be relying on certain sequences, but it isn't. It seems to run okay. I mean, I've got it at the moment where we're in invincible mode, yeah. So I have I've turned oh I've turned it back on now, so you should be able to hear it, yeah. But we'll just buy it. But the randomization doesn't seem to be affecting. Right? Look. Because these, this movement is affected by that randomization system. 
Alright, let's do... Come on. Come on. There we go. This this is using that same randomization system. So let's get rid of that. <laughs> oh, I can't shoot for toffee. There we go. And this, this is governed by the randomization. So, it looks that random route, that randomization routine that we've got, which is. Um, see, because look, even the color cycler uses this randomization routine. So this randomization routine has probably made the game, probably made the game a bit harder, <laughs> to be honest, to play. <laughs> anyway, so, and as you saw, we would got the power-ups going down the sc screen, and we we slowed it down. We slowed we slowed it down. So. Um, there you go. So there's the first one. We slowed it down because um, we probably we had it probably too slow. Um, but these are all, all these timings are going to have to be tweaked. Yeah. But today we're going to try and implement the um, going to try and implement the power ups. So uh, things that we're going to need for the power ups. So, um, we are going to, so we've got a, we've got the power up active, right? So the power up active is determined that there's a power up on the screen and there's a power up running. Now, I was thinking about this last, uh, on Monday night after the stream about, do we use the same flag for where the power, where the power up is running down the screen as well as uh, for, and the fl same f same bite to say whether the power up is actually going actually 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 going so we've picked it up and we're active and I thought we could right but what I was thinking was that we would so this is our this is the bite yeah I was thinking because at the moment we use that byte is equal to power up on screen. Yeah. But then I was thinking that there is another branch that we can use for a different bit, right? Which is that bit, I think. I think. But I'm not too sure. But we could still use that as the power up um uh, power up is 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 what's the word i want to use the power up is activated hi john here <laughs> another subscriber <laughs> stay a while stay forever no not again mate no dude Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Dude. <laughs> Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Is that three? Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> He's still Another going. <laughs> He's Stay still going. Stay forever. Doxt, that I think that's the last one, isn't it? Doxter. Yeah, you've done it. That, that is, that is five streams on the trot. You have gift subbed five. You've you've gift subbed five people. You are so generous, mate. So generous. It's 
it's it's amazing. Um, I I don't expect it, mate, but it's still just amazing when you do it. It's, thank you. I've now got fifty-one subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to that, according to Streamlabs, I have. I got 51 subscribers. Yeah. Thank you very much, Doctor. Very much appreciated. <laughs> uh, every time he does that, every time I get taken aback. Anyway, so we're going to use the same bite that um, to act to. Um, govern whether the power up is activated oh you st <laughs> do I need a tissue <laughs> <laughs> behave on my stream <laughs> you can tell she's bored she could you could tell she's not been streaming for a couple of days can't you Ah. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't behave on your streams. No. Anyway. So, we're going to we're going to use bit 6 as the power up um activator flag. Now, we do we do if I remember rightly, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven power ups. So we have seven power ups. So we're def. <laughs> I don't do that. Where did you get that idea from? <laughs> oh dear right so we've got power up tight so we need to set up a set of constants to do the the power up tight so let's get in there and set them up I don't think I don't think we've got a power up section have we no we've got a shield so let's do that. So power ups. So I so I'm going to say we're, we're going to have a maximum of eight power ups. Seven of seven of them we have we have taken. So let me grab this lot and put it in here. There we go. <laughs> Digging. I thought you was placing. Oh, you're digging again. You're digging again. Just, just to uh, hang on. Let let me do let me do the proper thing. Hang on. Let's do this because I think I've got this set up. Oh, there she is. There she is. Look at that. I got it right. I got it set up right. Bring it on. There you are. There's a shout out for Mrs. OSK. So she's she's decided she's streaming Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. I think that's 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 the schedule you've picked, isn't it? Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So if you want to watch a lady, not knowing what she's doing in Minecraft, go <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, more bits? <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me. Oh, Doxter, you've done it again. Thank you for the 500, 500 bits. Buy something nice for Mrs. OSK. Okay, okay. That's a thousand bits I owe her now. Why she got three nights and I've only got two? Because she, she's Mrs. OSK and she's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gary. Even you know that. <laughs> but yeah, she streams Tuesdays, Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, and Sundays. So if you're interested, anyway. 
Anyway, right, let's get back to what we was doing. But thank you for the 500 bits, mate. That's a thousand bits I owe her. Yeah. When she gets affiliated, I'll pass them on, all right? Right, so. So we're going to do... We're going to do uh, power-ups. So I think we need another thing in here. So power-up type. There we go. Power-up type. So we are Iron Man. So that's going to equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. Yeah? Yeah, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make sure she gets them, mate. When she, when she gets uh, affiliate. Cannon. <laughs> you only need 25 more follows. Okay. 25 more follows. That's all she needs. So if you haven't followed her, go nip over her to chat. Don't leave my channel. Just do right click new window. I'll go and follow her. Yeah, but it's, it's, you, you need to have them in the stream chatting as well, you know. Have you? Already? Yeah. All right. Don't say that too loud. Those... God damn followers. <laughs> I know. You'll get there. You'll get there. Right. So we are creating. We are creating a type for each of the. Uh, The um, power ups because we're going to use we're going to use that one bit that one byte to govern the entire power up mechanism. So um, so that's extra shield. So super bomb. And then two t two times. So we've got space for one more, we've got space for one more power up. Which would be that. So we'll, we'll think, we'll think about that. So we've got space for one more power up and that, uh, that would do it. So. If I, I've got to, I'm trying to remember now. So, the Iron Man power up was, um, that was shooting through the shield, wasn't it? That was shooting through the shield before people, <laughs> before people picked me up on the shield. So Iron Man, I think, was shooting through the shield. If I remember rightly. Yeah. Cannon is... That's cannon, which is uh, doubles uh, the normal fire. Uh, fire spread, which I think we can do. I think we can do fire spread. Fire spread is fire firing... Diag, Diag, on Ali, left and right. Um, extra life, well that's self-explanatory. Extra life is extra life. Extra shield, self-explanatory, extra shield, 
Super Bomb. This is the one I'm looking forward to coding because this is this is going to take the this is going to take the machine down. I reckon. <laughs> Kills all. Um, visible aliens. And then the final one is the two times multiplier, which is scores multiplied by two. So there are power ups, all right? Uh, da, 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 da. So to make this whole thing work, right, why is that complaining? No, you're telling me you don't like a space. Wow. Anyway. So, um, we need, we need, we need, we need. Where is it, where is it? Here we go. So, we've got the type. Now, so we need a byte for the timer low. And we need a byte. For time a high, a high. Now, I was in two. I was in two minds whether to use a CIA, a CIA timer, or the VIA timer. Um, because we could. I was. I was looking it up, and I was thinking, could we use one of the timers in the CIA chip or the VIA chip, where we set the timer on the chip, tell it to get going, and then it fires an interrupt when it's done. And I, uh, the, the, dude, the legend. Hello, Steve. How you doing, mate? Hey, Stacey. Nice to see you join in. <laughs> I think Steve's checking up on what damage we're doing to the game. <laughs> so, the... I was I was toying with the idea for the power up timer of using you know using one of the input, using an input output chip to do it using one of the timers in the input output chip but the problem was I was getting stuck with um, the C16 because I don't know if you saw my recent tweet where I've got the end. I've now completed my Rodney Zacks collection, where I've got one of the rarest books out of out there. I don't know if you saw that tweet. Um, let me. Uh... Oh, come on, tell me, come on. What are you coming up? Anyway, here we go. Go away. Oh, this is annoying, isn't it? When you just want to see someone's tweet and you can't. There we go. That's all right, mate. That's all right. So as you can see, I have now got the... Uh, uh, there's a book missing on there. And I noticed it. It's the Z80. But I do have the Z80 one there. But I've got... And the most expensive book that you can get is this one. And I stole it. And I absolutely stole it. I don't think the person that sold it me knew what they got. Because I picked this up for a normal book price. Which I was really cheap. Che uh, yeah, really cheap. <laughs> I was... Oh. But yeah, anyway. So I've got all, the entire book. But I also picked up this. And that is the... As you can see, it's the plus, f plus four and... Oops. Anyway, plus four and Commodore 16 book that I use when I do the conversion. 
So I've now physically got the book. I have physically got the book. So you know, remember that PDF that we used to do the Commodore 16? This is the book. So I've got the book now. But the, the CIA, the, 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 chip, the input output chips are wired up really strange. I think it's the TED, it's the TED chip has got a really weird setup. Yeah. So I've given up on that. It would have been great to do it because we could have just set the we could have just set the No mate, it's not a fake one. Look, it's it's got the normal you know the normal grubby edge that says it's been well thumbed. It's been well thumbed. But it's not a and also it smells musty. It doesn't smell brand new. It does smell like it's been in a cupboard for many, many years. So yeah, um, I was really pleased I got this. I mean, I got this, um, that's 12 quid, I think, this cost me. Original price was eight quid. <laughs> it just shows you about inflation. But now I've got the Commodore 16. I've got quite a few Commodore 16 books now. My 16 collection is getting quite big. So it's over there, oh, in that corner up there, up, up above the uh, BBC Micro sign. Anyway, so, but the long story short is the, the Commodore 16, I think it's the TED chip, has a weird setup on the input output, and I couldn't quite figure it out. As the PET uses the VIA chip, and the C6, uh, Commodore VIC-20 uses the VIA chip, and the C64 uses the CIA chip, they're all, re they're all very, very similar. So the timer aspect would have been almost identical. And basically, the time, what I was thinking was, the timer, you can tell it, how you, the, the timer could be set to different modes, yeah? So it could be set to loop. So you tell it, I want you to be, I want you to count down for 20 seconds and loop. You can tell it to do it what a one-off. So I want you to count down 20 seconds and then stop. You can also tell it, to fire an interrupt when it's done it, yeah, and that's what I was gonna. Tr that's what I was gonna try. I thought, oh, would be nice and clever. This would be interesting. But porting it to the C16 would have been troublesome. So we're gonna do it manually using the interrupt, yeah. So we're gonna have our own power up timer on the interrupt, and so as while the power up timer is counting down, the power up will be activated, yeah. And then when the time is finished, the power up will be off. So, so we need a timer to count down from. Um, what else do we need? What else? What else do we need? We know that the... Hey, Microman, welcome. Welcome. So... Oh, the man himself's here. We can ask him the question, can't we? Steve, we had a problem with the Vic interrupt. We had a problem with the Vic interrupt. Um, oh, this was annoying. It baffled us for a bit. And we've had to, we've had to um, code around it, yeah? So we had a problem with the Vic interrupt that the when you set up the Vic interrupt, um, it the the game stopped. It wasn't firing the interrupt. So we've had to put the IRQ, we've had to put the IRQ counter inside the game loop just only for the Vic twenty. It worked for the C sixty four, but on the Vic the game just stopped. Just didn't work. I mean, I think I can, I can think I can demonstrate it. Let's demonstrate it so we can give him an idea, because then he can think about it. And see if I've done something stupid. Right, let's go into Vic mode. Right, so um, let's switch it up now. I, did I rem out the IRQ? Did I rem out the IRQ? Right, let's rem that out. Let's go into the IRQ. 
Did I rem the Vic out? Yeah, I did an RTS, didn't I? So, let's just do that and we'll put this in place. Right? So, win Vic mode, so it's going to it's going to it's going to do the setup, yeah? Right, let's see if it does it. Right. So, we got the we got the screen. Press F1. Yeah, it still does it. The IRQ is not firing at all. And just don't know why I we've spent hours and hours on it. So what we like I say, what we did is we cheated. After spending too much time on it, we cheated. And what we did was we we created a specific VIC twenty um thing and then we used it as a as just inside the game loop. Yeah, it worked, and we've co we've basically copied it. We basically copied the the inter the IRQ. Yeah, it's except for the bits that we've added for the different machines. It's identically the same. You know, there's the timer, does the sound effects, but it just stops. So we've had to put it in the game loop. So now, yeah, does it? No idea why we 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 did spend quite a bit of time trying to figure it out, but we don't know why. We've checked the code between the reverse engineered and this one, and it's the same. Yeah, we 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 are stuck. We are stuck. So, just something for you to think about, just in case. I mean, the code's in my GitHub, mate, and if you've if you haven't got access to my GitHub, I'll. I'll send you a zip file so you can have a look, yeah? But this, this is the 64 version. Oh, and I'm waiting for the extension to wind up. Drives me nuts now, this delay. So there we go. Alright. So, power-ups time. So, we, so we've got, we've got storage, so we've got our... This is what we did last time. This is to de determine what type it is. This is the timer that we're going to put in the IRQ to keep make sure it's active. Um, I'm just trying to think. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Um, not that I can think of right now. Uh, what session? Oh, it's... Oh, dude. Now you're asking. <laughs> now you're asking. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I think it's probably off Twitch now. Because it's, it's, it's over two... It was over two weeks ago. And I think the Python streams have gone now. I think the Python streams have gone. Let's have a look. Well, this is going to be fun watching myself, watching you. Uh, videos. Yeah, yeah. It it, it was a long time ago, mate. Uh, it's not on there now. No, mate. The um, my current backlog is quite large. <laughs> Hang on, I'll show you. Let me show you. The current lack backlog is quite large. So this is what is not on YouTube yet. This lot. This is not on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm a I'm a you know, YouTube's a bit far behind. Well, this is actually what's not on Patreon. Per Patron now has videos exclusive for 12 weeks before they become public. <laughs> yeah, so Patron, Patron ones that 
I think the patron ones have just started. I think they've just started or just finishing the Pie Bot series. I think, but Public is. I think they're that's just started the 3D Maze one. I think. So yeah, um, I have got a bit of a bad backlog, but it, it 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 helps when I go on holiday or something because then I can just upload a video that's that's. Um, hey D type. Oh, you said hello today. You don't lurk. You was lurking. Right. So, first things first. We need to detect. We need to detect the power up that we're picking up. Now, we decide. Did we decide that you can pick a power up when the shield is on? Did we decide that? I know in the in the Python one we made it that you couldn't pick a. Or did we? Oh, it's been a while since I looked at the pot. I'll tell you what, Steve hasn't seen the Pi game incarn incarnation of it, so we'll run it and, and I'll remind myself what we actually did. Let's load let's load the Pi game version in so we can check. Um It's that one, isn't it? Ah, uh, that's that's the badger. Right, so let's fire that up. So we're just checking the power ups, yeah. We're checking the power ups to find out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be in easy mode. I I, I can't play Ready, this in. Set, go. Right. One. Let's get rid of that. Because the power ups don't come on level one in this. Round three. New high score. Round four. Round five. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, ooh, that was close. Round seven. Round eight. Round nine. Ooh. Gotta get rid of that pod. Gotta get rid of that pod. Oh, there's the power up. Right. So if we put the shield on, did the power? Did could we pick the power up? No, we couldn't. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> you went. Did, did you enjoy? Did you enjoy that? What what okay Steve what you, first impressions what did you think I know it's by the way you can get that off GitHub by the way it's it's input it's public on GitHub if you want to grab it and play yeah you know, I've made it it's it's not a private one uh, da, 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 da. repos. Uh, there we go, Pi Game Myriad. So if you want, if you want to play this game, it's there. Look, and all you need to do is run, run, right? And and all you need to do is, you can either do it this way: do Python three main dot py. Um, if you haven't got it in VS Code, because that still does it. Look, yeah. Or you can run it inside VS Code. Ready, but it's, set, go. It's, Round one. Round two. Round and I've got pretty good at it now. Oh, as he says, he blows himself up. <laughs> anyway, so and you can you can thank Saucy and Gary Meg for contributing to that game because they they did some bit they did some bits as well. They did some bits. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't just me. So Saucy and Gary Meg need some credit as well. <laughs> Good at it now as he perishes. Yeah. <laughs> um the 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 um the graphics and the sound files were all free. That were all public domain 
um, stuff. I mean, some of the sound files I've act I actually mixed, I actually merged um, because, like, um, get ready, get ready, go was actually two sound files that I made into one, and those um, level uh, power up, level one, level two, they were all things that I merged together. I mean, we all did it was done all on stream um, with a lot of guidance. That is. That is very kind of you, mate. That is very kind of you. But, you know, it, you... Anyway. Oh, Nicomo, thank you very much for saying it's a nice game. It... It's... Yeah. Good to see that the original game mechanics works well. Yes. We... Well, we... We, we stuck... We stuck to your... We stuck to the mechanics of each of the levels. We stuck to the mechanics, so we've got the zigzags, we've got the diagonal. We even coded those two rules. We even coded those two rules into Python so it would accurately reflect um, the motions in the VIC-20 game, yeah? And I have no idea how you coded that in 24 hours. Yes, we did. I think, um, Saucy, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was 25 and a half, I think, in total, wasn't it? 25 and a half hours, or total? Something around that area. Um, but yeah, so, um, you, <laughs> you only made silly suggestions. But those suggestions were actually put in, mate. Come on, and look what it did to the game. I mean, we, we even put the planets in the background as they slowly go past to give the impression of travelling through space. Alright, no problem, mate. Just let us know when you're back. Right, so the, the outcome is that, is that it looks like if the shield is on, we can't pick up um, a power-up. Do you think we should keep that mechanic? Yeah? Do you think we should keep that mechanic? And only be able to pick up the power rubs when the shield's not on. Yeah? Oh my god, more bits? Thank you very much. You guys really oh, Nic spoil me. <laughs> Nicomo, thank you very much for the bits, mate. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. S so kind. <laughs> I'm getting really, really um, humbled here. A tissue. <laughs> you're, not on, you're not on my chat anymore, so you can... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. No. <laughs> Go away. Play Minecraft. <laughs> John gets speechless when there's bits and subs can... Uh, it, it, it is true, mate. I mean, I, I don't do this for the bits and the subs, but it is very kind that you guys feel the need to um, um, to generously give me them. It's It, it, it does... It, it Yeah, I don't do this for the subs and the, 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 the bits, but it's very much appreciated when it does happen. Um, as you can tell. And now Mrs. OSK is taking the mickey out of me. Did you notice she nearly come on nearly come on camera? Did you notice you caught a bit of arm? You caught a bit of arm there. <laughs> I'll get her on camera at some point. I'll get her on camera. Right, okay. Enough of the shenanigans. Let's get coding. So did we decide? Did we decide that um, we're not picking up the power-ups when the shield's on, yeah? So, um, so where do we need to go? Ship. I think it's in ship. <laughs> Video bomb next, yeah. May oh my god, more bits? <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me. Darkster. <laughs> oh, I... <sighs> dear you you oh you do so much mate thank you <laughs> yeah luckily it was only an arm and not a slap hand yeah <laughs> I've got some more bits from Doxter again 
Oh, anyway, right. <laughs> it's, yes, I get speechless. I'm sorry if I get speechless, I can't help it. Right, so, um, ship, 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 ship. Did we destroy the ship? Yes, she does. She does take uh, good care of me. She takes the mickey, but she does, she does take good care of me. Right. Supportive. Is that the word I'm supposed to be using? Okay. She's very supportive. Even though I bought an even though I bought a new computer I bought another computer. I've got to talk to you, Gary, about the beeb, by the way. Me and you need to speak. Right, so it's here. Um, oh my god, more bits? <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, you are very supportive, Doxter. You are very supportive. Thank you very much for the 100 bits, mate. <laughs> you are extremely supportive. Thank you. And all the people that subscribe to my channel and give bits. Yeah. Right, okay, um, let's do this, right, so we need to, right, so we, we're going to check, we're going to check that the um, power-ups hit any part of the ship, yeah, but we're, there's also a check in here that says whether the, um, the uh, shield is deployed. There, this is it. This is it. So what what happens at the moment is we was only working on convincing the <laughs> miss to Mrs. Emma at the week. Oh right, okay. Right, okay, mate. Well, let me know when you're ready, and I'll dig, I'll bring it out, and put, we'll do a a custom stream so you can see it, yeah. Because I need to put that in its place. <laughs> my museum, my museum's full up. Anyway, so right, so we check, we checked the the ship. Excellent. We checked the ship. Has a ship ca um, collided with it, and then we check, check ship. Yeah, so here we go. So we check the ship, right? So we check for the we check for the the two by twos, and I think the other one's the pod, isn't it? No, yes, yes. So we check for non-explosive bits. So it's here. This is so. Who destroyed the ship? Well, technically, a power-up's not going to destroy the ship, but it will be registered here, right? It will be registered here. So, what I what we need to do is we need to find. I've forgotten. Does that actually return back? Does that actually return back what I've got? Um, let's let's reduce some of these things that I got open. Right, bullet. Where's bullet? Right. Uh, so I'm looking for identify what it is. Okay, identify what it is. Here we go. Do we return back what it is? So elements locate. I haven't got elements open, have I? Do, 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 do. Where's locate? Do, do, do. So we oh right oh so we we load it from the array right okay 
So we can, right, we load it from the array. Okay, so we can use, right. So here, we've, we've identified some of these hitters. We've eliminated the things that don't hurt us and we've eliminated the asteroids. Yeah. So now it's anything else. So here we are going to load um, dot char. I think it's dot char elements, 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 element char. There we go. That's the budget. Right, compare it with our power-up character. Right, so if it is, then branch if equal to um, should I make it Yes, we'll make another one here. Right, so branch if equal to what power up. So if it is the power up, we're gonna we're gonna jump to this routine that's going to identify what the power up is, yeah? So we don't have to worry about all this. Now, we need to check that the shield is on. If the shield is on, then we don't want a non-lethal collision. That's there. That's up there. That, sh that should be still within range. Yeah. So... If the shield's active, we're not going to even in, we're not going to even um, find out what the power up is, yeah? Because we've already, we've just gone and said if the shield's on, we're not going to pick it up, yeah? So what then we're going to do is once we've identified that the shield is not on, we're now going to identify what it is. So we have gone and used the color as the 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 type yeah so storage dot element dot color spelt correctly yep is now our type all right now i think i think we have got the colors already set up haven't we uh, da, 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 have we? Have we? Have we? Have we got the colours already set up? Or did we hard code them? Hmm. Um. I can't remember. Did we hard code them? Surely not. Yes, we did. Oh dear, right, we're going to have to change that. Right, we're going to have to change that. So, um, so they're going to be the same. Alright, so we'll grab this lot. Because the Vic and the 64 are going to be the same, aren't they? Right, so uh, let's just sort this out. Let's just sort this out. Alien. Let's put that over there. This is constants. Right, so um, Super Bomb is white. And we'll change that to be colours dot super bomb there we go um, green is extra life uh, 
purple is extra shield. Purple. Uh, blue is fire spread. Cannons. And Cyan is Iron Man. No. No, 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 no. I've done that wrong. I've done that wrong. Super Bomb was white. Right, I've done that wrong. Go back, go back, go back. Right, let's do that again. Right, Super Bomb is white. Green is not extra life, it's two times multiplier. Right, purple is extra life. Blue is shield. You guys didn't pick that up. Yellow is fire spread cyan is the cannons and red is iron man I just was just waiting to see if I noticed. <laughs> Good comeback. Good comeback. Right, we'll copy this into the Vic section. So that's the Vic section. Because we're using the same colours on the Vic as we are on the um, 64. We'll have to see if, if this commonality be between these colours. Because we should be able to make it less but it's easier this way right so now we've got the colors we've got the colors set so we can come back in here and then we can do right so compare with um, colors dot super bomb branch if not equal to the next one so let's get the constants in that pane there and we'll go back to this here so what's next we'll do it in order we'll do it in order so first one's Iron Man and we're gonna we're gonna be lazy da, 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 da. Iron Man, Cannon, Fire, Spread, Extra Life, Extra Shield, yeah, spelt it right, Super Bomb, and X2 mul 
multiplier. Right, so we're going to say move to is it canon? And we'll put that there. And we'll copy this. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. One there. Right. So, branch if not equal to is it canon? Branch if not equal to is it fire spread? Uh, branch if not equal to is it extra life? Uh, branch if not equal to is it oh my god more bits thank you very much <laughs> you guys really spoil me <laughs> Doxter <laughs> oops you did it are you trying to you trying to sing oops I did it again <laughs> Doxter thank you mate <laughs> am I going I'm going I'm going red it's a bit warm in here isn't it right okay fire spread um, is branch of not equal is it extra life right what's the next one extra shield <laughs> you're trying <laughs> oh dear right where was I going um, extra, oh it's extra shield now is it extra shield Shield. Right, let's get that there. Um, is it super bomb? Oh, that's going to be a fun one, isn't it? Super bomb. Right. If it's not super bomb, then it's um, two times multiplier. Spelling, Wait, spelling, no, <laughs> there you go mate, there's your reward for catching a spelling mistake. Uh, and I'm why did why did my spell checker not pick that up why did my spell checker not pick that up Ugh, that's annoying <laughs> well done mate good spot right so the what we're gonna what right the philosophy of it is everything's gonna have the same time frame yeah so we already know from the shield timer that that's on for four and a half seconds, yeah? So to do a complete 255, 256 interrupt iterations is four and a half seconds. And what I was, <laughs> it's not, oh, you, you're out and about on your small screen. Oh yeah, not bad, mate, not bad. So. For the power ups now, if my and I haven't got it, I haven't got it loaded up again. Um, we had a time frame for the power ups, didn't we? In the Python one, uh, can anybody remember what the time frame for the power ups was? Um, uh, da, 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 da. anybody? It wasn't the shield counter, was it? Nah, it wasn't that. Uh, reflector pod. Where's the power up class? Course of course. Oh, bonus. I bet it's that one, isn't it? Yes, that one. So, how long did we have? What? Well, how long did we set? Oh, 
Oh no, that's the bonus going down the screen, isn't it? Um, so it must be it must be in game. How long did we set? Bullet hit hostile. Can anybody remember how long we left the powers up power ups on? Oh, bonus hit. Here we go. Oh, so it was, it was the shield counter. Oh, no, that's doing the text, isn't it? Self.process bonus. There we go. So, let's do rapid fire. Let's see how long. Rapid fire. Duration. All oh, right, we had different durations. Okie dokie. Yeah, I, I don't want to do different because it's just going to make it... Well, I mean, is it? Because we've got a timer. Self dot rapid. Where are we in? What are we in? Are we still in play? Oh, that's player. Are we still in play game? Self dot rapid fire is in the player. So it was the player that was governing the bonus. Yeah. All right. So it's definitely the player. Set the animation. Oh, there's the fire mode. There's rapid fire. Right, okay. Okay. No, I don't think there need to be different times. So I'm gonna try and stick with the same time. So what do you so we're gonna use the we're gonna use the two hundred and fifty six IRQ cycle. We're going to use the IRQ counter to count how long it's on the screen, how how it's there. So how long do you think we should have these um, power ups on for? Um, if we make it a nice, easy, easy, easy number, we, it, it would it would make things a little bit better. Because um, so every so every every one high high bite iteration would be four and a half seconds so that would be for two would be nine for four would be 18 seconds do you think 18 seconds is enough do you think that's enough me oh you think it's too long Nine seconds, so it's like the twice twice the length of a shield. Or do you think we should go thirteen and a, thirteen sec thirteen and a half seconds would be the next one? What do you think? If you're in the middle of a battle, if you're in the middle of this going frantic, which it will which it will do, it's, it's happened quite a few times. We'll have to play test it, yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's do that. So we need another we need another constant. So power up. We're in power up, so we can use that there. So let's create. So uh, power up duration high. So we'll we'll do three. So this is is three times four point five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes, yeah. So we'll set it to 3 to start with. And then if we got if we want to go lower, we'll go lower. But we'll do it in four and a half second iterations, yeah. I don't want to mess around with low byte, low byte maths. Not for not for this. 
So we'll do that. So um, right back in here. So we need so um, power up identified. So LDA hash um, to power. Oops. Dot. Come on, there we go. Store it in storage. Dot power up. Timer high and LDA hash zero. Store it in storage. Dot power up. Come on, you can do it. Low. So we've identified it. So we've set the timer. Um. Now the timer is going to activate when we say when we when we set the flag that it's activated. So Are you dying? Say again. Yeah, go use my villagers. Um if there's no carrots or potatoes in the chest, go to the storage unit where the carrot and potatoes are and grab a shulker, yeah, of each. Yeah, they're labelled, they're labelled. Yeah? And then once, once, you've, once you've done them out of the, um, the potatoes and carrots, use the emeralds to um, get yourself some go golden carrots, yeah? All right? That should that should at least charge all your tools up. Have you? Well, if that's the case, you can always grab some iron out of the the first row chests at the bottom, iron blocks, and 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 trade with the um, the toolsmiths and the uh, and the armourers to get emeralds, yeah, as well. If if uh, but by the time you've done one set of what by your time you've done done one set of trading, it those should be opened up for the set next set second set. Hi Twitch Ego, welcome. Like they are living on a farm. <laughs> I have got, yeah, I've got a villager trading hall in uh, Minecraft that's got lots of traders and I, uh, it, the coop took like, um, um, Nike child labour. <laughs> Nike child labour. <laughs> They know what they want. They're well fed. Right. So let's let's do all this thing. So we need to compare. Right here we go. Right LDA hash um, Iron Man power ups dot type dot Iron Man. Go on, you can do it. No. It can't. So we're loading that. Um, uh, da, 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 da. We're not gonna. We're not gonna combine. We're not combining power ups because we're only allowing one on the screen at any one time. So I don't need to do the ores. So we just can just store it straight away, straight in there. Power up type, right? Right. So we do. Oh, we need to do something else. Um, branch if not equal to. There. We're not going to do a jump. We're going to do a branch if not equal to because we've just loaded it with a value, so it's not equal to zero. 
Saves us a bite. Oh, 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 do two, do two, do two. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. That is very true. That is very true. For the, the common ones anyway. So we'll do that. So we'll, we'll take that out. Take that out. Oh my god, more bits? Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys really spoil me. Load bits, store, <laughs> store it in Mrs. OSK. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, how many more? How many more bits? Oh. You've got another hundred bits, Mrs. OSK. Yeah, from Doxter. You'll have to shout a little bit harder. Oh, the Iron Golem. Yeah, the Protector. Um, For that... For that, mate. As I always do with everybody, thank you for the suggestion. You get yourself some points for that. The only time this is going to fail, the only time that this is going to fail, is for the inst is for the instant ones, yeah. But we're not going to be setting the type for them because they're going to be instant ones. So, like for add life, add a life. That's going to be held in here, yeah? There's not going to be a timer for that. So that's just going to be add life. We're going to increase the life by one. Same with the, the shield. We're going to increase. But the rest... Oh, and super bomb. Yeah, super bomb's not is not going to be done like that. But we're, we're treating it all the same because um, until we get to them. Because they're going to be the easy ones to implement, yeah? So, so we've set... We've set the... We've set the type. We've set the timer. Do I need to do anything else? Do I need to do anything else? Uh, du, 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 du. No. Right. I do. I have. I got an. Do I have a constant for activation? No. Right, let's make one. I'm just thinking I don't need that. Because we're, we're already in power-ups. That's better. So the activate is... That. So we're going to load... Power active. And then we're going to... Or... Activate. And the reason why I'm doing the or is because we need to still have the power up active flag set so we don't have another power up coming down the screen. So we keep that set. But all we're doing is we're setting the other bit which then fires the timer up, yeah? So that would then fight that would activate the timer. So come out. We've done the bit. It's done. Right, so let's go in the IRQ and let's do the modifications to the IRQ routine. So in here, in here, oh, well, I mean, we've got the shield here. Yeah, got the shield here. Uh, so let's put, 
let's put the power up here. So LDA storage dot power of active and it with um, activated branch if equal to zero to that and we'll we'll do that here again so if it's zero after we've done the and that means it's not activated so now we can do our decrement this right and then branch if not equal to that Ooh, no, that needs to go there, doesn't it? Okay. So that does the timing. So it's decrementing low. If it's not equal to zero, it comes to here, which then carries on. If it equals to zero, we decrement the high byte. Branch if not equal to here. If it is zero, if the high byte is zero, then we need to go LDA hash zero and turn everything off. Don't need that. Just do that. So let's just run through that again. So we load the we load the power active flag, power up active flag. Is it activated? No. Bypass it. Yes, it is. Decrement from the low. If the low is the low equal to zero. Yes, it is. Bypass it. If it's no, yes, yeah, no, it's not. Bypass it. Yes, it is. Decrement the high. If the high is not equal to zero, bypass it. If it is equal to zero, turn the whole thing off. Check which bit you used for activate. It looks like the same bit as the times two multiplier. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But we've got two bytes, mate. We have two bytes. Um, here. Here we go. So that is where the type goes. This is where the flag for activating if it's on screen is. So yes, it is the same. It is the same bit, but it's not going to be in the same byte, right? So we're not going to be tripping over. No, 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 no. It's because we got too many power ups, mate. We have we we got seven power ups, so we've got to use a, a separate type byte for that. So that should be the IRQ. That should be the IRQ timing up, and then turns off. Yeah. So all we need to do is in the code now is just check is the power up active yeah and do the thing if it's not we don't do it so let's do the easy ones first let's do the easy ones first so the easy ones are the um, extra life and extra shield so here we don't need to to oh, no 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 I'm doing it again it's here <laughs> I'm doing it again so here 
We don't need to... Well, have I got the same... I've got the same types on them all, haven't I? Uh, John, you're a plank. Stop playing with my villagers! <laughs> no, you're alright. You're alright. Are they doing the job? Good, good. Right, that is definitely Iron Man. Cannon. Fire spread. Um... That's extra life, we don't need to worry about that. That's extra shield, we don't need to worry about that. That is super bomb, we won't need to worry about that. Right, times two multiplier. That can go there. Right, so. Extra life. This is dead easy. This is dead easy. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do ink storage dot Num I think it's number of lives, isn't it? Number of ships. There we go. Number of ships. Yeah. RTS. And come straight out. Because we don't need to set the timer. Don't need to set the timer. Just come straight out. And because we've jumped from here, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Nice, this is starting to come together. So we do the same for the shields. There's a... Sp oh, so there is. <laughs> ah. it, wouldn't have, it wouldn't have compiled, mate, to be honest. Thank you for spotting that. It, uh, compiled. I can't say compiled. Andy, if Andy was on, he would be screaming at me now. It wouldn't assemble. Right, so the shields, we can do exactly the same thing. Ink storage dot number of shields. RTS. Done. Yeah, assembled. Done. Right, so that's the num that's that's the extra lives, and that's the the shields. So, uh, super bomb. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. So, right, we need to be in elements. We need to be in elements. Um. Now, what happens if you have FF extra lives? Well, what happens when we get 21 extra lives? It, the, the number gets corrupted. This is why I was thinking of extending the number of characters. Um, I suppose we could have a max number. I suppose we could have a max number. Because the um, the character set the character set goes up to twenty one, yeah. It's down here. So there's nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it goes to twenty. So we've got a number that goes up to twenty. So we could stop it going to twenty one. I suppose same with the number of shields so I suppose we could we could do that so let's have a constant in here um, uh, where should we put it under I suppose we could put it under game defaults yeah because we've got max number of levels and max number of waves yeah. So, 
So if let, let's say um, no, 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 it's a perfectly it's a perfectly good thing. Um, maybe we should limit it. So um, I'm just thinking it's 21. We want to show the 20. No, we want to show. 19 increments to 20. Right, it's 20. Right, we're putting 20 in. Uh, maximum number of ships. Right, so load number of ships. Compare it with game default. Dot max number of ships. Right, branch if branch if equal and we did it do, 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 do. I'm just wondering what's the best way of doing this um, Right. Let's see. If, let's let's see if you guys can can guess what I'm up to. See if you guys can guess what I'm up to. Tell me if that works. That should work. That should, should, should work. I just need to check that we're not setting any states here. Um, are we setting any state? Yes, we are. So I need to. We need to come out with CLC. So we need to set the state. So we need to come out with CLC. And same here, because that's the test to see if the ship's done. But that should work. So we load, we load the number of ships, we test it with, with, with the maximum number of ships. If it's not equal to the maximum number of ships, then we jump to here where it increases the number of ships. But if it is equal to the number of ships, then the instruct, then it becomes this. Like that. It com becomes like that. So it doesn't actually do an ink. Ink. It does a this bit instruction. So technically, we don't have to then worry about doing jumps. We just we just bypass that one byte. So we're going to do the same for number of shields.
Now that should work. That should work. We will try, we will try it. We will try it. Um, so, we need to, we're looking for, we're looking for purple and blue power-ups, right? So let's give it a go. We should be able to assemble. There we go. So we're looking for purple, so I think, yeah, I'm still in God mode. Which means that the power-ups wouldn't register, so I've got to put God mode. I've got to turn off God mode. Well, I'm... Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, da, 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 da. So we'll say four. So we see it increase, and then after that it shouldn't. Right, I've turned on. <laughs> I've turned on. I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna shoot all these fellas before. Right, I'm looking for... I'm not looking for Cyan, am I? No, not looking for Cyan. That was cannons. Here we go. Oh, that's red, that's Iron Man. Let's kill a few more. Come on. I'm looking for a blue or purple. Come on. Green, no, no, <laughs> maybe I should have hard coded them coming down, if we, if we don't get one I'm going to hard code it, come on, I don't want to shoot these fellas, green, really? Right, I'm gonna hard code it. Uh, okay, hard coding. Uh, um, 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 um. I'm sure I. Aliens. That's the fella, isn't it? Here we go. So. Gonna hard code it. So we're going up to here. Right, here we go. LDA. Hash colors dot uh, da, 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 extra life. We'll do the extra life one first. I know this is cheating, but well, here we go. So we're hard coding it. So we should get we should get an extra life straight away. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I missed it. There we go. Right, here we go. Extra life. Come on. Does it go up? Yes, it does. Get in there. Oh, we didn't. We didn't kill it. We didn't. We didn't take. We didn't uh, kill it. So we need to kill it. There we go. It's not going up anymore now. Right. So that was an interesting test because we need to kill it. So, um, that's an interesting, that's an interesting test. We might have to do it down here. Uh, a pickup sound, yes. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll discuss that. At a later date, we're just uh, just doing this right. So we've we've located right. We've located the element because we're using the color to check. 
So we need to update the array. Right, so we need to do this. Yeah. And... Should I... I said, oh, I said I was going to do that, didn't I? Right. So we're going to do this. So we're going to convert it into the explosion center. We're not going to have any explosion debris flying around. Right. So converting it to... We're converting it to an explosion center. So if we go to aliens... Have I still got aliens here? No. Let's put it up here. So if I go find explosion, see all that, all that it's doing is it's converting it to an explosion and that will then activate the timer for the explosion. We are clearing out the array element. Let's just make sure that, what's that doing? Oh yeah, that's then setting it to be, um, that's clearing it out. Yep. And then we store, we, st I think we, ah, uh, that's why the, that's why the delays didn't work, didn't it? Oh, it's amazing when you look at it. Yeah, we, look, we store it. Oh, well. Right. So we load the current element in and then we update it which should get rid of it. So we need to here say uh, power up consumed like that. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, um, gonna have to jump. We're gonna have, definitely gonna have to jump to that. Why is a lot of spaces going in there? So we'll do that on that one, and we will do that on that one. Then the CLC, yeah, CLC's done, so that's okay. Right, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Come on. Here we go. Get rid of him. Come on. Give us a pat give us a power. There we go, it goes. <laughs> nice. Let's have another one. Oh come on. It's not that difficult. Oh, I f I've just remembered. Just remembered. What did we forget to do? What did we forget to do? Um, yeah, that's only because um, it, it picks a random direction when it initiates it. Um, but we forgot to do something. We forgot to do something, and I cannot put it there. Can't put it there. Yeah, power up still active. Yeah. Uh, we'll put that one up there as well. Um, down, I think. Down, 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 down. Oh no! Hang on. There. So well spotted there, mate. Well spotted. You was on the same wavelength as me. So now we should get more power ups. 
because we'd forgot to turn it off. We'd forgot to say that there was a power up on the screen. Whoa! How cheeky were you? Oh, and I missed him as well. There, yeah, got ya. Do, do. Here we go. Come on. There we go. And we've got another one. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And it didn't ump it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and that's why I fail at all the uh, <laughs> optimization challenges, mate. <laughs> Uh, never mind, never mind. Right, so, we've done, we've done, 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 done. Um, extra lives. We've, uh, we've done the extra lives, so now it's the shields. Oh, I've forgotten, I've forgotten what the, the is it, sh that, ah, that's better, that's the one I'm after. Oh, no, not utilities, I want aliens. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, and that's why I always seem to fail. I, I write it as I normally do, and then I'm going, oh, why is it take, why is, why is it, uh, never mind. Right, so, um, extra life. So we're now testing extra shield. I mean, there is some optimizations in there, uh, like that bit stuff and everything, so we, we are putting some in there, um, but yeah. I'll, uh, organized c code is much more readable, especially if somebody else wants to wants to look at it. Right, we're testing now for the shields. Okay, so we're testing now for the shields. Oh, that was close! Cheeky meteorite, cheeky. Here we go. There's the blue. Oh, is this going to hit us? Oh yeah. No, it missed. Oh, <laughs> it missed us. <laughs> oh, that would have been punishing, wouldn't it? Right, here we go. Ten. Oh, we're... oh, hang on, hang on. I've got to change it. We've got nine shields by default, so we need to change this to ten. That try that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, mate. Sir, uh, I, I don't mind coming last. I don't mind. I wish I could. I wish I could code like that, but it's it just goes against my. Um, Teachings, I suppose. Right, ten. Here we go. So it went to ten, so it shouldn't. Here we go. It shouldn't go to eleven. Oh, it did. That went to eleven. Ooh, what have I broken? <laughs> Can you see? Oh dear, 
number of um, shields. Number of shi number storage dot number of shields. Compare it with dot max number of shields. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear right this time we should it should work let's get rid of that oh that asteroid is being menacing there we go oh missed it right Right, 10. There we go, 10 shields. Right, so we should not go to 11. We should not go to 11. <laughs> Come on, John, you should know. Hey! It works! Oh, dear. Oh, you have to laugh at yourself. I, I, I just couldn't believe... I couldn't believe that I'd done that. Again. Again. Right, so, <laughs> yeah, works, no more planks. <laughs> Doxter, you can, take the, you can take the hat off now. <laughs> right, um, so I think the next one we should do is the super bomb. I'm looking forward to doing the super bomb. That's going to be, that's going to be absolute manic. So, um, <laughs> So, <laughs> copy and paste there is the best ones. Yeah, especially when you forgot you'd done it. Um, right, super the super bomb. So the super bomb kills everything on the screen. Right. So we need to run. Th <laughs> yes, I've, as I've just. <laughs> I know you're behind, mate, and I'll I I I don't mind that. But yes, we're gonna kill everything that's on the screen. Right, so we need to run through the element array. Yeah, now that's fine, that's fine, mate. So we're gonna run through the element array and everything it finds, we're gonna convert it into an explosion and then we're gonna do a, a random a random chance whether we do the debris, yeah? Because if we do the debris on everything, it's just the, the whole machine is just gonna come crashing to a halt, yeah? Um, and also, um, you know, if you've got 50 entities on the screen, we don't want to be creating 500 elements. Even though we'd never get the 500 elements, because I think we've got, what, on the six? I think the 64, we extended it, didn't we? We extended the array. Uh, number of bad guys. Where's the number of bad guys? Yeah, here we go. So the number of bad guys was 50. Compared to... Oh, we did the Vic 50 as well. Oh, we could up it though, couldn't we? We could up it. Um, we could up it. Hmm. But I'm going to do a 50-50 split, yeah? So I'm, what I'm going to... We're going to make it into an explosion. And then we are going to... Oh, that's all right, mate. That's all right. That's all right. So, when we do the when we do the complete, we're gonna let's like say we're gonna run through the element array. We are going to convert everything into an explosion, and then we'll do a random chance of convert uh, of doing the debris because we don't like I don't want to do it on everyone because it'll just bring this it'll bring the machine down to a grinding halt, and so that is the plan. Yeah, so. Hey up, we have a visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. Nico. Nico. Say hello. You haven't said hello any time today at all, have you? Hey? Say hello. You've not... What's up with you? You've not been on the... Everybody's saying hi. You've not been moving about, have you? You've been just 
guarding the stairs with your brother. Hmm? There you go. Say hello to everyone. Say hello. You say hello. There we go. That's what. That's what you want to do. You want to say hello, don't you? There you go. Yeah. All right then, mate. All right. We'll put that down so they so they can see you disappear. Yeah. See, I told you everybody everybody loves you. <laughs> Nico Cam finally got got used. Um, right, so the elements. So we need to. What we're going to do is put put it in the elements uh, root system. Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's just a. Uh, oh, I was trying to think. Trying to think why why we called him that and. It escapes me. It escapes me why we did it. Anyway, right, elements. So we are in elements. So this is where we're going to put the routine. So, um, so I think what we need to do is hijack, hijack this. I suppose we don't need to locate because we just load update draw move execute no 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 we are going to nick this this is this can be our starting point for 10 all right so uh oh i forgot what copy is hang on my brain's starting to fry. Here we go. Right, down to the bottom. So, ooh, I need that in as well. Right, destroy, <laughs> destroy all aliens. <laughs> Instead of destroy all humans, destroy all aliens. Right. So... We are going to load the exposition, test it for being a bad guy. <laughs> Smart bomb, yeah. Um, if we found, we found, no, if it's equal, um, try next element so which is gonna be here but now I am actually thinking Ooh, ooh, the little voice in the back of my head's going bonkers. Right, so it's only the bullet array that we kept different, isn't it? Right, so the little voice in the back of my head's going, John, 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 but, 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 but. And so we will do what the little voice in the back of my head's going bonkers about. So we're going to have to test it as well. So characters dot oh it's the x isn't it that's the x hang on i think that's it char yep char Load the character. Right, compare it with characters dot explosion. Explosion center. Branch if equal to try next element. Uh, 
And if it's not that, then try the debris. If it's equal to that, right, so we're not going to explode the deb explosion and we're not going to explode the debris of the explosion because then we'll be in an infernal loop and no. I think a test before using random explode, how bad? A I think a test before using random explode, see how bad that is. Yeah, no chain explosions, yeah. Well, I'm trying to think. Gary, I think a test before using random explode. Yeah. Whoa. What? The, the smart bomb doesn't kill all. Hmm. We can certainly think about that and see how we could do it. Mm -hmm. So let's um, let's do this. So okay, um, we need to load. If I'm oh, that's power. That's aliens. Uh, I didn't want to be in there. I wanted to be in there. Right, so um, when we've identified what it is, we need to load it. We need to load it. So we need to do this. Elements.locate in array. And to do that, now I don't want to do the location, but I'm just checking that we can load the array without disrupting the X, and we can. So we're going to load the array, and I am going to store that as well just to be sure in there like that so we load the element from the array ooh yeah that's right oh I'm not doing it there though am I ah. I am doing it there once we've identified we've got something that we want Then we load the array, load the element. Now I'm going to go back to the ship because that's where all the uh, the explosion routine is, and we can just lift it. All right, so it's down here. Here we go. Down here. In fact, in fact, I'll go to the top where we we lifted that from, which is up here. There it is. That's what we want. All of that. All of that. Bring it on. Right. Put that in there. Grab that. Do that. Right. So we convert it into an alien. We clear out the alien we update the array with the new stuff and then we do the do the explosion now i think i think we need to do a random chance on that and so we can just grab uh have we've have we got a 50% routine i think we have haven't we we've got a 50% routine haven't we No. Four, one, twenty-two. 
Are they the only ones we've got? Right, better put another one in there then. So, 50, 50% 50 chance. So that means it's going to be... Um, that. 0-7F, 82FF. 50% chance. So let's run that. In here. So JSR that. Branch if carry clear to try try next element. And just to make sure we've we haven't lost that. Okay, mate. Okay, mate. It's uh, nice for you to be on the stream as well, mate. So you could see see what we're doing. See what we're doing, and grab yourself the Python game. And have a play and let me know. <laughs> let, you, let me know if you're any good at it. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, on uh, on oh no mode, it's impossible to play. On oh, oh no difficulty, absolutely impossible to play. All right then. Um, well, I mean. Yeah, uh, I have fifth, let's see, 50%. Um, I mean, if the array fills up, if the array fills up, it's not going to, it's not going to add them anyway. Um, well, what do you think we should do? Uh, 50, uh, should we use the 22% chance? Let's, let's, let's use that. So there's a 22% chance of debris, yeah? So, yeah, we'll do we'll do that. We'll do that. So then um, we load the current array. We create we create the debris items, and that and that's it. Oh, you would go for a rolling percentage based on the number of enemies. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. That is very, that's a very clever idea. And I want to do it. That is a very clever idea. I want to do it. Right. So the way we the way we can do that is this. We do our random number. Yeah. We do our random number and then compare it with I think it's that. I think it's that. Let me just check. Mm. 
Really? Ooh, I've got a variable that keeps track on how many aliens are on the screen, but that's saying there's only one time that we use that. Really? That? In there. So we, there is a, a routine. There. Right, we're looking for that. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Storage, number of elements on level. There we go. I knew we had it somewhere. Knew we had it somewhere. Right, so we can do that. So compare it with the number of level elements of the level. So if it's a if there's a mo so we want to say branch of carry clear, yeah. So we're going to do the same thing. Branch if carry clear, which means branch if if the, the less than. So if we've got a lot of things on the screen, we've got less chance to making it a debris, yeah. But if the lower the number number of elements on the screen, we've got more chance of making debris. There we go. That should do it. Yeah. That should do it. Let's try. So, uh, let's just finish this off. So we create the explosion. We move on to the next bad guy. And then when the bad guy's finished, we come out. We don't need that. We just return. We just return out. So, elements. So we go back to the ship. Is it the ship? Yeah, it was the ship, wasn't it? Yeah, it's in here. So, super bomb. Here we go. Here we go. Right. JSR. Elements dot destroy all humans. <laughs> I love it. And we do the same there. Oh, that's going to be. Oh, this is going to be fun. I hope this works. I do hope this works. Right. Let's let's tip the balance in our favour. Yeah, it's one of the things I was thinking, mate, but I thought we'd try it to first just to see if we need to do it, yeah? So, colours dot super bomb. Right. Here we go. Destroy all human... No, aliens. <laughs> this is going to crash the system. I can guarantee it. Here we go. Come on, let's see a white one. Come on, let's see a white one. Ah, this is, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it only did one. That only did one, didn't it? Right. That only did one. Got the sound effect, though. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Why did that not do it? <sighs> 
second plank moment. Oh dear, second plank moment. Is it raining? Cool. It's making a wreck it. Yeah, lost X, I think. Right, here we go. Let's try it again. Whoa! Cheeky meteorite. Missed it. There we go, I got it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, what is going on? Why is that not looping through? Am I doing something silly? I wonder if it's this. No, it can't be that. Are we actually... Ooh, that's a thing. Are we actually going in there? Ah, uh, la, la, la. Ship, ship. I've got too many things open. Right, we'll get rid of you. Ship. Right, let's put a break point here. And we'll see if it's going into it, yeah? Shut this off so it's not. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. get out of the way, get out of the way. <laughs> oh, that wasn't helpful, was it? <laughs> Why is the keyboard not work? Oh, there we go. Right, here we go. Destroy all humans, here we come. Cool, this is taking its time coming down. I bet you can still hear it, can't you? All right, then, mate. Thank you for join. Thank you for joining, and thank you for the do uh, the five gift sub, mate, and all the bits that you've uh, that you gave me. Very much appreciated. I will see you next week, yeah? Right, so we're definitely, definitely going into it. Right, so we'll go, st we'll step through it. We'll find out what's going off. So we're loading 63. We're loading that. Is it equal to FF? No, it isn't. Right, so load the character 1F. So it's none of those. So we store X away. Then we, oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right. So that's loading the character, that's loading the whatever we're doing. Then, we are converting it to an explosion. So this is the conversion. And then we clear it out. Load six, the X back in, so that's done it. Then we load what we've got. in there so that kills it 
and then we do random number compare it with whatever's in 72 what's in 72 E2 no 71 72 B well that's well above B so then load X convert it into debris so this is now doing the debris So that's adding the debris in. Oh, I should have really jumped over this. All right, all right, Gary. I'll see you later. Yeah. I mean, I'm. Oh, it's half past ten. Got got thirty odd, 40, thirty odd, forty odd minutes left. Night, Gary. Take care. Stay safe. Yeah. Right, so this is doing the first level of, uh... right, let me let it run it through. See, it's only done one. So we'll wait for the next one we'll... and we'll uh, put a break point after the, I don't want to run through the debris creation. Come on, where's the next one? We did turn it off, didn't we? Oh yes, we did, there it is. Right, so that should fall right on our heads. Right, there it is. Right, let's run through it and we'll put a break point at the, um, there we go. So we'll put a break point where it does the, um, explosion. Right, so there's the explosion there. So what is that? What? I think this is out of sync. Convert, yeah, so we're converting. Clear the element array. Load it, update. Right, so we want to put a breakpoint there. So, do the random number generate. And there we go. Right, so it's going to do the explosion. So let's go back to that. And if we do F11, it's going to stop there and that, what's the matter mate you want to go out for ways you want to go outside eh? it looks like he wants to go out say hello to everyone right I must turn that off Right, so we've done the explosion, so now it started the first ex And so, load X, which should be, hang on, there we go. X is 52, now that 
doesn't look right. We've only gone through one, so that doesn't look right. So we've got a problem. Hey, <laughs> yeah, but he's he's actually chucking it down outside. That that is, I think that's where the problem is. So let me reload that. In. Let me re reload. I think that's where the problem is. I think the X has got destroyed. I think the X has got destroyed. Right, here we go. Right. So, when we go into the routine, so this is the routine, yeah? This is this is uh, working our way. So, this is this is the X, this is where we add. So, we're going to put the break point there, yeah? That's where we add. But watch watch the x value here. So, I'm going to go forward so the x value is 63 yeah so I'm gonna go forward again to there but when we do the load it comes back so we're just right we're destroying X we're destroying right we're destroying that number so so I can't reliably use that um, that variable uh, right, so, um, that's annoying. Let me just check where that variable's been used. So it's not been, it's in element. So where is it in element? So destroy all humans for one. Now I've got element open here so where are we using it here what's that oh locating array well we're not doing not using locating array we're not we're not using that Oh, drawing elements. Drawing elements. No, we're not. We've not gone through that yet. Right. So it's definitely not elements. So it's oh, it's scoring. No, it can't be. Right. So we need to work out, we need to work out, so it's 84, so we're going to look at 84, yeah? So I'm going to, I'm going to fire it up in C64 debugger and we're going to watch memory location 84, yeah? So here we go. And we're going to see where it changes. So let's get memory location 84 up, which is there. That's the fella. Right, off we go. So it's constantly changing because we're using it for the animate the index animation, the element anima animation. Let's get rid of this asteroid because it's going to kill us if we don't. There we go. Right. Come on. Oh, have I got it on slow? No. There we go. Right. Let's follow 84. Let's compare it. Store it. 63. Right. So we've stored 63. Now, is it going to change? Let's have a look. So it's loading. 
Oh! Did that do a store? That's red for some reason. Still on 63. Now this is where it's hunting to find a new slot. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. It's to find the new, oh, it's locate. It's here. Because we're inserting, it's this locate, find empty slot. There we go, it's, that's where it's destroying it, there. So we, we will use one of the new temporary variables that we've created. We'll use one of these. So we'll use that, we'll use that one. Because I don't, we're not going to be using that. Oh, that's a disappointing. So store that in there, load from there, store in there, load from there. Right, let's try this again. Not gonna, not gonna do it in C sixty forty bugger. We're gonna see if it uh, fires up. Here we go. Missed it. Well, that's interesting. That is very interesting. I'm going to rim that out. Yeah, destroy them, but the, they're not on the... Yeah. And also, I've, I've remembered that... Um, this, 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 this. Where is it? This. We need to uh, we need to reduce that, yeah. So every time we kill something, we need to decrement that, yeah. To bring it back down to zero. Right, let's try that again. We're on the right track. We're on the right track. It's just getting the mechanics right. Right then, oh, this <laughs> got me, it got me. Oh. Come on, let's see the white one. Here we go. Oh, I, got to, I had to do that, I was gonna die. Here we go. Oh, what? It's doing it, but f it's not clearing these out. But it's not actually, oh, right. St one step at a time, John, one step at a time. Let's get rid, let's, let's not do that. 
we need to convert we need to convert it to an explosion yeah and then right let's just convert them into explosions and update them because I'm just wondering if the ex the the debris thing is getting in the way Come on, White. Where are you? Here we go. I have got something fundamentally wrong. It's it's killed them all. But there's something fundamentally wrong with my thinking here. Definitely something fundamentally wrong with my uh, my thinking. So let's put some more breakpoints in it. We'll put one there. Uh, we are not doing the explosions anymore, so that's gonna be. And we will put one. We'll put one there. Just to make sure we're loading the right thing in. Right. That's, I mean, the fact that we've taken them away, the, the fact that we, we, when we convert them into explosions, that should automatically take them away. Oh, that was quick. It's on the screen, quick. There we go. Oh, are we in slow mode? No, we're in, we're in fast mode. Right, so we're looking at, well, 84 is our first target. So here we go. We should break any moment now. Right, so go to the first one. Oh, it's now... Oh, it's storing it in FO, isn't it? So FO here. This is our indexer there, yeah? 63, right. When it, So it's doing the next one. 62, 61, 60. So it is running down them. And that, they're the ones that it's not found. So it's running down to almost to zero. Yeah. So it kills them. But it doesn't, it doesn't convert them into explosions. That is strange. Yeah, we did the convert. Right, let's do that again. But this time we're gonna look at the array. We're gonna look at the array. Um, oh, yes, I'm in the wrong one. Come on. I was going to say. Right, so our ray is at 9,000. Right, 
Right, this is our array here, 9,000, yeah? Oh, why, is, why have you stopped? There we go. So, F1. Where's... Come on, Whitey. Where are you? Oh, I missed it. Where's Whitey? <laughs> when we want one, we don't get one. Oh, how did I miss him? Got him this time. Where's the white one? Come on. Oh, it's like waiting for a train. Here we go. Right then, here we go. So, this is our array. So this is the X, so this is where everything's on the X axis. This is the Y, I um, think that's the um, color. Then we've got the type, um, then we've got the directions of X and Y, and oh, what's the last, what's the last one? It's not in there, it's in storage, isn't it? Is that where we put it? Yeah. So, uh, so direction and element type, right? So that's the element type at the bottom. So there should be all the element types, the characters should be all the same. So, yeah, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, yeah, right. So, we should see a conversion right so let's let's see what's gonna happen now so we load in the first one which is OE so that's the first one so that's this one here yeah we check it we store it away then we convert it oh no we load it in so we're loading it in then we convert it. And it should then store it back. So here we go. 09. So it's changed it to 09. Why is it changed that to 09? Then it's changed it to 12. O A O D zero. That's the direction zero, which is right, and then the type should be eleven. So that's done that right. That's done that right. Then it's doing the random thing. But we're not doing any. So we're loading F, decrease 72, and then doing the next one, which is now 12. 
So what does that convert it to? Doing nine again. Oh, it's putting them all in the same place. Right, it's putting them all in the same place. Um, right, so let's figure this out. So it's, I think it's this. I think it's this. So aliens convert. Oh, explosion dot convert. Right, so, oh, set, oh, right, okay. That's why it's putting them all in the same place. Okay, um... dot at its current location right let's see yeah the screen the screen position is the ship so that's why it was putting all that's what it, it basically put all the elements in the wrong the one place when it should it we should have left it where it was so let's see if if it does it now Right, here we go. So F1. Oh, missed the asteroid. Missed it again. Well, he got rid of him. He got rid of them. Um, the asteroid is not gone, but I'm just wondering whether we should should destroy the asteroids. I think we should leave the asteroids there. I only destroy the aliens. Um, so the asteroids. And the meteorites are what type of those? Oh, I can do element type anyway. Uh, da, da, da. We'll leave the asteroids and the meteorites there. So, right, let's get rid of that break point. Um. And we'll get rid of that one as well. So we're going to leave the asteroids as they are, yeah? So we locate, we check, we check to see. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to check to make sure they're not the asteroids. So we'll do type. And this time, oh, in fact, we'll use type. We'll use type all, all the way. We'll use type all the way. So type and we'll do that and it's not so what we're going to do is element type dot I think it's explosion isn't it explosion yeah uh, element type dot explosion debris that's fine element type dot 
Meteor. And element type. Dot asteroid. So it leaves it leave the um, it leave the asteroids and meteorites there. So let's put let's put the explosion stuff back in and see if it does it now. Ooh. Boom. Uh, what's that in? Element 719. Uh, 789. 789. Storage element dot type. Really? There's no... What did I call it then? Oh, element type. Not like me. Right, let's try this again. Right, here we go. So I'm going to try and leave the ash meteorite there. Hope it don't kill me. Bridge. Okay, what have I done wrong? They should be all right. Let's see if it gets rid of them. Um, I don't know what I've done wrong. I don't know why it's not done it again. And this zigzag meteorite's getting on my nerves. Here we go. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Right, that's got rid of them all. And we have the meteorites left. We're just missing the explosion. Right, so we're just missing the explosion. Um, so, what... When I put the explosion in, what is going on? Am I doing something silly? Oh, done the same thing again. Same thing again. Again, 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 again. And stay here. Right, come on, time to get it right. Dodging meteorites, here we go. Come on, where are you? Go 
Boy, it's taking a while for it to come up this time, isn't it? Oh, and it turned up as well, and I died. Oh, I've done it again. Go away. Missed it. Missed it again. Right, don't kill me, don't... Ooh, that was close. <gasps> oh, and the crowd goes wild! <sighs> <laughs> the meteorite got me. <laughs> right, let's do that again. Oh, this is better. We got, we, we got meteorites going down. Here we go. Right. <laughs> nice 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 right so we just need to put the mechanics in for it to go to the next um next wave so um where's that i think the mechanics for that is different right new storage new what this is it this is the test here so we need to go go find all references Okay, find all references then. Uh, sorry, find all references for that. Right, so, uh, da, 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 off new wave. Ready, here we go, check for new wave. This, this is it, right, so... Um, We'll make that CC. Oh no, we'll make that CS. Load the number of elements, compare it with our current level. If it's greater than our current level, then we're fine. If it's less than our current level, fire the flag for the next, next wave. Right, let's try this. Let's go. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm a really rubbish shot at this. Here we go. No, I missed it again. Right, so we're on level one. So as soon as I kill one of these meteorites, it should progress. Oh, and I'm really rubbish at shooting this thing. Oh, come on, John. You can do better than this. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. It's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. Right, we'll do this. We'll spam it. No, I still missed it with spamming. There we go. Right, it's moved on to the next level. Right, here we go. So, this should... Oh, right, okay. That didn't work. That's fine, we're gonna cheat. We are gonna cheat. Um, we will not do that. We're going to do this. No aliens, because we got rid of them all. Next phase, please. Right, here we go. Let's see if that does it now.
Right, so we've got straight downs. So here we go. Come on. Why is it not going to the next level? Why is it not going to the next level? It's because it's Why do I overthink these things? Why do I overthink these things? Um, yeah, that's the problem. We're not checking for the next level. We only check. We only check. Um, we only check for next wave when we kill something. Yeah. Yeah, like here. We. we get rid of it yeah so what we need to do here is we need to check for this when we um, right at the very end yeah or we can check here we can just do it here but I don't think when I don't think we should yeah I think we should we should do that and then do the JSR because what it does is it decrements it decrements the number of entities on the level yeah so if we give it one when it does a decrement we know we know that we are definitely lower than what we're on so that then should trigger that then should set the flag and trigger the spawning of the next level so just overthinking it again just overthinking it I've made this simple come on John Oh, we've got a slanty one again. And it copped us. And it copped us again. Oh, straight down. We're all right now. I'm not going to die this time. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I'm dying on testing. Come on, White. Where are you? That's a problem. That is definitely a problem. We'll do that again. These slanty meteorites are killing me. Ah, got you. Right, here we go. It didn't do it that time, did it? Right, here we go. He didn't do it that time. Maybe it was just a fluke. Here we go. See if I can survive. Before, they got me before it got to me. <laughs> oh dear. Manic, manic, manic. Oh, I am absolutely rubbish at this. Right. Let's do... Oh, that's it. Got rid of that one. Right. So, 
I'm going to try, here we go, I'm going to try and test to make sure that the shield doesn't pick it up, yeah? Shield. Whoa. There we go, so the shield is working. The shield is definitely working. So we can't pick them up when the shield's on. Right, where's the next one? Here we go. Go, cool, that was close. Nice. Now, I noticed I noticed that we're missing something. We're not we're not getting the scores for the kills. I noticed that the score wasn't and I think we should get the scores for the kills. So, um, let's get rid of that. So we need to update the scores. So it's this here. So we need to do that as well. So, um, so every time we do a, a blow up, we need to update the scoreboard. So let's try that. Oh, I've got zigzag again. Missed. Got you. Right. So, I have 110 score. So, I think it's 100 for each one of these. Oh, there we go! <laughs> nice! That works really well now, doesn't it? That super bomb. Oh! <laughs> oh, I trashed it. Come on. Whoa, that was close. Here, oh, there we go. That's it. Come on, help me out here, help me out. Yes, yes, this is what we want. This is what it. Does it create debris for each explosion or is it still random? It's still random. Um, I we, we did it on um, the number of entities on the screen, yeah? So, here we go. So we did the um, we did the random and then we tested it against the number of entities on the screen, yeah? So when there's only a small amount, we do a lot of, we do a lot of, um, basically everything gets exploded because we've got the space, but, um, who said that we might have to do a shift? Because I think we might... Yeah, it was... Uh, it's Scaslin, wasn't it? I think he's right. We're going to have to do a shift down. So when we get the number, I think we're going to have to shift it down because um, we was getting explosions for everything, yeah? So we'll just do a shift down. So LSR, which basically divides it by two, and then we compare it. So we'll try and we'll see it. Because all we need is just a few explosions. We don't need every one exploding for us. Just need a... F oh, I've got a slanty asteroid again. Missed it. Missed it again. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. See, he still did it then. It did them all then. Uh, da, 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 let's LSR it a second time. Did 
do 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 Oh, I am rubbish at shooting that ash meteorite, aren't I? Absolutely rubbish. Got ya. Right, come on. Right, let's see. Let's see if it's all now. Yeah, it's still all. Uh, I'm, I'm just wondering whether to do a twenty, just do the twenty-two percent chance. Or even do the 50-50. But we'll we'll do we'll do one more. All I want is just a few of them to explore. I don't need them all. Because I because th if we fi if we fill up the entity array with debris, it won't recreate the next level. Yeah. Got you right. Come on. Here we go. Uh, it didn't do all of them then. But I still think I still think we need to do the fifty. I think we still need to do the fifty-fifty. Um, because it it didn't do them all, but it was like only two didn't explode. So I think we I think we just need to do the fifty-fifty. Uh, I'd rather do that. Fifty percent chance. We'll try the fifty-fifty, and if that's too much, we'll do the twenty twenty-two. Um, right, F6. Oh, we got straight, straight meteors and straight asteroids. Come on then, Mr. White, where are you? I mean, it's not like... It's not like we. Uh, oh, it's a four percent chance of a four percent chance, isn't it? Oh, well, maybe I should have took one of those four percent chances out. <laughs> oh, this is taking its time, isn't it? Come on, these dudes are going to kill me if you don't do it. Oh, here we go. That's better. That is better. Right. That was definitely better, wasn't it? It didn't do them all. It definitely didn't do them all. Oh dear. Well, I should, maybe I should take one of those tests out just for while we're testing. Make it more frequent. Uh, I'll leave it for this one. But I'm, if I have to keep testing, I'm going to take one of the 4% chances out. Here we go. Oh, that is unfair. <laughs> that is unfair. <laughs> That was unfair. Right, here we go. 
Watch them all. Yeah. No, all of them didn't uh, explode. That's fine. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. No, well, that took longer than I expected. I thought that would have been a quick one. That definitely took longer than I expected. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Oh, what you complain about, I don't know. Uh, okay, guys. Well, I mean, it's half past 11. Um, you what? You're still playing Minecraft? Okay, we'll carry on then. <laughs> I've had permission from Mrs. OSK. Well, we'll carry on. So, let's still think meteors won't won't be destroyed. No, we're I, I think that we should leave the meteors there. I think we just just kill the aliens because the problem is we're going to have a problem uh with the 2 by 2s yeah? Because with the with the destruction of the 2 by 2 meteors there's a special routine to to do it and at the moment we're just trying to use a generic one. I mean, we could we could eliminate the meteorites and just leave the asteroids on screen, but I thought, nah, let's leave the asteroids. We're killing the aliens. Let let's leave the asteroids. So, next one, the next one. Uh, what should we do next? Um, two. Oh, we could we can do the multiplier, couldn't we? Should we do the multiplier? Because that's going to use the um, that's going to use the timer. So we'll use the timer. Right. So where? Oh, I can't. Oh, here we go. Identified. Okay. So. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So, the trick is to get rid of the meteorites before anything else, just in case you get a super bomb. I think it adds a bit of uh, difficulty, you know? Get rid of the meteorites first. It's an incentive to get rid of the meteorites first. <laughs> right, so, we need to... So, we've got the timer in place. So we need to do this. We'll do the multiplier now. So basically, in scoring, we need to check. Uh, scoring, scoring, scoring. We need to check that um, our... Um, our flag is set, yeah? So, um, I'm, I'm just wondering whether to do it actually in these, the routines, the ads. That's what I'm thinking of, doing it in the ads. So, like, add one here, that we do another one. Um... So that's add one. Oh! That is a, that is a brilliant one. That is a brilliant one, we'll do that. That, uh... oh, what an excellent, <laughs> what an excellent idea. Um. What an excellent idea. Oh. Right, let's put that in. Let's put that in. Let's put that in here. So we don't know what the colour is. But.
Right. I'm just one. I don't know if I'll have time. I don't know if I don't know if I'll have time to do it now because I'm just thinking. What we can do. What I'm, what I'm, this is what I'm thinking. What we can do is. Um, where's Myriad? Don't need the carrot set. Where's Myriad? Here. Is that for the freeze time? That's doing this. That's doing the array movement. Yeah. So we could not just not do the array movement. We just we just skip it. Oh, what colours should we do it? What colours have we got available to us? One cos Ah Well, I think we've used all the colours, haven't we? We've used all the red we've used, white we've used, cyan we've used, purple we've used, green, blue, yellow, rats. So we're into the multicolour modes. Brown is actually a mul is is colour nine, so it would be a multicolour. That would be a that would come out as multicolour. Do you remember when we had the multicoloured? But I suppose we could have a we could have a have it a multicolor to do the freeze. Yeah, let's do that. We'll we'll, we'll make it orange. Where's the constants? So we're using this one. So this one is freeze frame. Freeze frame, and we'll put the colour in. It's not going to come out orange. It's going to come out a multicolour version of. See, orange is eight. So that's going to be a multicolour version of red, I think. Now it'd be black. Let's do light red instead. Because that will come out as a multicolour red. Right, so we'll put the catch in here. don't we is it freeze frame So, let's change um, the aliens, so it's going to put freeze frame, the colour freeze frame in, yeah? So, do, 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 insert power up down here, 
cheating, freeze frame, and then we did it to here. Load. If it's zero, we want it to run through. If it's not zero, we want to bypass it. Right. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's see if this does it. <laughs> Free frames active. <laughs> Hang on. I missed something, didn't I? I've got to test to see if the power is active, hasn't I? Because the, the power up type could be anything. So we check to see if the power up is active. And if it is, is it of this type? There we go. If it's not at, ooh, this is a good one. No, 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 no. We need to, we need to rethink this. Branch if branch if equal to zero to here. That's where we need to so if it's equal to zero that means they're not active so we're moving the aliens. If it's not equal to zero, then we test this. Right, that that should do it. That should do it. Ooh. Oh dear, what did I call it? Storage dot. Storage. Really? Have I not got storage open? No, I haven't. I'll do it. Right then, let's see. So we have movement. Right, here we go. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. Let's see if it, let's see if we've, um, in fact, oh, look at that, it worked, it worked.
Wicked. <laughs> Destroy. Oh, no, no, no. We moved on to the next level. Oh! This is a tough level, this is. go we've done it freeze frame freeze frame let's do that again it's just so we're going down so come on here we go Oh, I can't reach that bad guy. It's the only one that's going to be left. If I can get it all. There we go. <laughs> Love it. Excellent. What an excellent idea that is. That's almost as powerful as Super Bomb, isn't it? That is almost as powerful as Super Bomb. <laughs> oh, excellent. Right. Two times multiplier. That was a great idea, mate. That was an absolutely superb idea. So we've got our full complement of power-ups. Right, so, um, scoring. So we've got the same issue. Well... I mean, you, you've got credit for it. It's going to be in the notes. It'll be in the source code. Um, right, so the two times multiplier. What Basically, what we've got to do is we've got to... Um, we've got to run through this twice, I think. And I'm just wondering whether... Just wondering when we do it here... Or, or, because this is not actually returning back, it's just moving up the scale. Right, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to do it on here, we're going to have to do it on here. Which is fine, which is fine. So let's grab what we got here. And we will look at our first so here. Right, so this is the sort of thing that we're gonna have to do, I think. Um, I'm just wondering, I think we can do this better, I think. Um. I think we can do this like this. Um. So is the power is are we active on the power up? Yeah. Um, and we'll change it to that. Uh, 
and we'll do that. So this. And we will do this. Right, that, so load the power up active, filter it out. Is it equal to zero? If it's equal to zero, then there's no power, there's no power up going. If it is equal to zero, then we test for the Test for not for freeze frame. We're testing for the multiplier. Test for the multiplier. If it's not equal to zero, no, that should be if it is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, it's not it. If it's not equal to zero, that means it's set and we can set it. And then here, we just do this. We just do this. So we can go JSR, that, branch, branch if carry clear. And then do this. And then we can do that. I think that'll work. So it adds 200 instead of 1. Right. Let's. So swoopers is the same value by looks on it. Just add a hundred. So do that. That one is add two hundred. So we're going to copy that, paste that there, get rid of that. This is tens. Another two hundred. Three hundred. Oh, three hundred and fifty. That's a thousand. What's next? Asteroid. Oh, why is it adding three? We've got a three hundred. say I'm sure we have a 300 don't we yeah adding threes adding three 100 something like that that's just ridiculous right uh, what we're we doing here what we're we doing here right so that's adding just five that's harsh isn't it oops Adding just five. That's harsh. Uh, five hundred. Any more for any more? Oh, yes, we've got them down there.
That's it. That should be it. Right, so let's um, go back to aliens, if I can find it. Let's change our type to X. And see if we get twice as many, twice as much scoring going on. Right, so we know that the floaters are 100, so they should be 200 when we uh, when we activate. So we'll wait for it to come down, and then we'll hit one. Go, oh, it's taking its time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What colour is it? Ah, here we go. Right. Two hundred. Right, so that's definitely doing twos. That's a thousand. Right, so we'll just wait a minute and see if it goes back to 100. Yep, there we go, it's gone back to 100. Now, and there we go, so we know that the active flags come back, look. So we'll grab that. And we got 20 for that. Hey! <laughs> Excellent. Right. Okay. So, we better mark these and say what we've done. Right. So... Um, extra life. Done. Extra shields. Done. Super bomb. Done. 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 Nice. Right then. It is. 10 to midnight. Thank you, thank you very much, Nicomo, for that idea. It was brilliant. So that's our eighth. So we've we've got we've managed to do the super bomb. We've done the extra life, extra shield, freeze time, the new one, and the double multiplier for the scoring. So in the next stream, we'll finish off with Iron Man, Cannon, and Fire Spread. Thank you very much for joining me. And for all those people that uh, gave me bits, thank you very much, Nicomo. I know Doxter's not any on on anymore, but thanks, Doxter, for the gift subs and the bits. And I will see you. Uh, what day is it today? Oh, it's Wednesday. I will see you next week on Monday. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.